I have chosen to take this second video of Acne Kriebeg in the spring to show the differences in contrast in the weather. Hiding in the shadow of Ben Loro with Ben Kruken in the distance is this impressive burial tomb. It has lost its cairn over many millennia. One explanation has the stone has been recycled into the nearby derelict drover's huts that stand in the nearby trees. The excavation took place over three seasons from 1968 to 1970 by the Royal Commission on the Ancients and the Historical Monuments of Scotland. A mass of flint and cores were found with a few different types of flint. A chip of ginger brown flint, mottled grey flint, greyish pink flint and pale grey charity flint with a few burnt flint flakes found. As you don't get good quality flint on mainland Argyll, this flint must have been exported. Also finds include shreds of pottery including beakers. A few of the 17 jet disc beads were found in one of the chambers. These bees also suggest trade again from further afield. The first thing what grabs you about this cairn is that it has two tombs. The next thing that grabs you is that one of the tombs is chambered and the other is not. So what is going on? This is what archaeologists call a multi-period site, that is the tombs were built in two different times. The passage tomb is Neolithic and the tomb behind it is Bronze Age, representing two distinct structural phases in the Khan's history. Even though the cairn itself was not dated, the dates from the pottery and the tomb building seems to suggest Neolithic and continued being in use well into the Bronze Age. Just a kilometre down the road is Acne Cree, a Neolithic chamber tomb dating from the same period. You have to ask yourself were these two related in some way? Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video.